so good morning my dear students today you have your first uh, sorry second revision test in that revision test moment chapters will be asked we have done one one chapter daily all the chapters are being revised if you were qu quite attentive in class if you have listened the gist of the chapter if you have gone through each and every chapter carefully so these mcqs are not tough for you you can you can do it next there are writing skills earlier you used to do writing skills fully okay for example formal letter writing is there informal letter writing is there email okay speech writing debate writing story writing all these things were there same is like there but the style is changed in that uh, mc in for in the form of mcq these writing skills will be asked so don't think that there is no need to study now writing skill because earlier work was easier suppose any letter is asked so you were supposed to write down without following rules without sometimes other students were following rule but some students they were not following the rules they were not going in the details that what are the basic guidelines for doing this writing skill suppose any short story is asked to them they will simply give a caption and start writing they don't understand they don't recall all the rules which were discussed in class okay so now in writing skills you have to go in detail the format the format that we discuss each and everything is discussed in class that is told by a teacher sometime you listen sometime you don't listen but you have to be very much particular related to that regarding that because in writing skill any kind of detail can be asked in the form of mcq and you can get confused so don't keep this thing in your mind ki mcq form mein yani writing skill there is no need to study now there you have to do vast study pehle kya tha simple ek letter writing likh di kaam ho gaya but now you have to listen each and every instruction of the teacher whenever we discuss format with you in between that anything can be asked but if you were attentive in class if you have listened to the explanation of the teacher very very carefully then writing skill mcqs are not complicated for you but if you have never listened the explanation if you have never followed the format that mcqs are going to be very much difficult for you so for Those what have to be the rounds. So, bache listen. I am going to discuss one of the writing skill. Afterwards, I will ask MCQ you MCQ from you. So, get ready with that. Don't worry about that. See letters. Letters are of two kinds: formal, formal, and formal. formal and informal. Formal letter, I think. That letter to letter to edit. बोल गया ना letter to family members. Letter to family members come in the category of formal letter. So letter to editor. Business letters. Applications. So business letter applications. Official letters. official letters all come in the category of formal letter writing and informal letter writing when we write down to our friends father mother any family member any family member relative or relative any relative any family members so 
So these come into the category of informal letter yeah. writing. But if you have listened this explanation carefully, and any MCQ related to this is asked, only then you will be able to do. Otherwise, your answer will be very abrupt. Formal letter writing. Letter two. What did he speak? So this is your abrupt answer without thinking about. This. Yes. Listen, na listen. For example, the tone of formal letter writing will be in which the tone will be varying. Tone, tone of your letter. So now that's why I'm telling you now. Now you all will be very attentive. Otherwise, you were not attentive. So now let's discuss the parts of formal letter. Now don't think that this format is not going to be asked. Details of format will be asked. Now keep your mind present in class. Physically you are present. Mentally you should be present. See how they are sitting together. And this place you can give on rent. <laughs> Skip one one desk, then you sit. Lakshya Jarat, come here. Blackboard is visible there. You can drag the desk. So, first sender address is written. What is sender address? A person who is writing a letter, his address is written here. Okay? And each and everything, every line of the letter, whether it is informal or whether it is formal, each and every line is written along with the left margin. Along with the left margin. margin. Sometimes you have habit that you skip that space, then you start your paragraph. It is wrong. You have to write down each and everything along with the letter. So sender address is there. Then skip one line. Then date. Whenever date is written, you are not supposed to use abbreviations in date. But you will be using full date like then you will skip one line after date what you are supposed to write down receiver address suppose i'm going to take one example you are writing this letter to the editor of a newspaper okay so when you are writing to the editor of a newspaper the tribune Sorry, the editor, the Tribune, Chandigarh, ETC. These three things should be in capital letters. ETC should be in capital letters. Clear? After that, subject. Now, which how this question can be asked? Suppose any question of letter is given to you. Okay? And related to that, four subjects are given. Four, four subjects will uh, seem equal. But you have to uh, choose appropriate subject. How will you choose appropriate subject? If you have listened the guidelines related to subject, suppose any of the letter is given in your question paper, related to that four subjects are given, you will see, you will say that first option is also right, second, third, fourth, all subjects are right, but how will you make difference among them? See, subject should be 
plot precise meaningful catchy single line not having two two sentences and first word should be in capital letters first letter okay for example there you are supposed to write down an application to the principal ma'am uh, for school leaving certificate so what will be the caption for that रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ स्कूल सर्टिफिकेट आप बताओ और यू ऑल विल स्पीक डिफरेंट आई विल बी टेलिंग यू विच इज द बेस्ट वन स्कूल लिविंग सर्टिफिकेट एप्लीकेशन इज देयर फॉर स्कूल प्रिंसिपल एवन यू आर सेंग रिगार्डिंग स्कूल लिविंग सर्टिफिकेट यू आर सेंग रिक्वायरिंग स्कूल लिविंग सर्टिफिकेट See now you are preparing options. First option you have prepared regarding school leaving certificate. Second option you have given requiring school leaving certificate. Okay, require school leaving. fourth option okay dhiren has written application for requesting school leaving certificate bata rahi hu na tabhi tum logo ke options hi le rahi hu main kaun sa ye question phir se bana ke lai application for requesting school leaving certificate suppose these four mcqs are given which will be the correct option I will add my fifth option also afterwards. I will add one fifth option also for you. ऐसे थोड़ा ना होता है। पहले तुम लोग बताओ इन four में से कौन सी सही है? Lakshy is saying fourth option is right. Okay, who is saying third? Okay, you are saying third require that first form will come. Who is saying second option is right? You are saying second by. Okay, Manshika is saying that we have applied school leaving certificate. We apply it. So requiring word word that is seeming appropriate. Okay. First option, who is saying regarding school? Nitya, Divyanshi, all are saying regarding. ठीक है अब मैं बताती हूँ चारों एमसीक्यूज में से हु विंस ना आई विल गिव यू माय फिफ्थ ऑप्शन व्हाई व्हाई इट इज रॉन्ग व्हेन एवर यू आर राइटिंग टू द फॉर्मल पर्सन सॉरी व्हेन यू आर राइटिंग अ फॉर्मल लेटर राइटिंग यू आर सपोज टू राइट डाउन टू द पॉइंट हियर जस्ट नाउ आई हैव टोल्ड यू Your subject should be short, precise, meaningful, to the point and catchy. Simple है आपने principal ma'am को application लिखी कि आपको school leaving certificate चाहिए. So according to my guidelines, what will be the subject for that? Simple. Not requesting request for. school living now tell me which option is right ye jo aap likh rahe ho kyun galat hai regarding requiring require first of all to ye word hi galat hai require requiring regarding you are not supposed to write down such kind of words in subject you have to use first form here So, ये रिक्वायरिंग और रिगार्डिंग तो पहले गलत हो गया ना बिकॉज यू हैव पुट आई एन जी ठीक है जब भी हम लिखते हैं रिक्वेस्ट लिखते हैं रिक्वेस्ट फॉर स्कूल लीव रिक्वेस्ट फॉर लॉन्ग लीव 
request for school leaving request for exemption तो रिक्वायरमेंट भी कोई रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं इसके साथ वर्ड सेट बैठ रहा और एक बच्चे ने बोला एप्लीकेशन फॉर दिस वर्ड विल नॉट बी इंक्लूडेड इन सब्जेक्ट दिस वर्ड एप्लीकेशन विल नॉट ऑलरेडी इट इज एप्लीकेशन प्रिंसिपल मैम नोज दैट शी इज रिसीविंग एप्लीकेशन सो वाई आर यू मैंशनिंग एप्लीकेशन वर्ड इन सब्जेक्ट सो इट इज एब्सोल्यूटली रॉन्ग सो द ऑप्शन विच आर एब्सोल्यूटली रॉन्ग पुट क्रॉस ऑन दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल eliminate the options which you think these are completely wrong that cannot be so the, with the leftover you can find out which would be the best one which would be the most appropriate option so here request for school leaving certificate that will be your correct option yes because here you are writing to higher authority you can't say require or requiring apni requirement you are not going to show ha or regarding ing word you are not supposed to use you are putting the request to for, because whenever you write down to the higher authorities whether it is principal ma'am whether it is the editor whether it is in the municipal corporation or deputy commissioner anything or you are supposed to write down any official letter any you can say uh, business letter for placing order for placing a you putting complaint in this way your tone should be courteous you should be polite ab samajh aaya mcq ka matlab on this subject i have spent near about 5 minutes earlier i was spending hardly half minute but now i have spent 5 minutes to explain what kind of subject to be written so those who are keeping their face like this na they get up because now work is not easy as it was earlier letter was of seven marks you used to get five four six now in seven marks letter suppose seven mcqs are there and one mark for one mcq if you yes if you commit four mistakes you will be getting three out of seven it means now you will realize that you were attentive in class or you were sleeping in class you were looking outside you were not writing you will realize samajh aa gayi but students who were listening to the teacher so attentively they can score they were following the guidelines they can score marks full good students were getting 6 out of 7 good students were getting 6 out of 7 but now they can also get 7 out of 7 because they were attentive. attentive they were following all the parameters now listen you are going to do salutation in salutation you are suppose writing a letter to the editor of a newspaper regarding complaint of rise in prices so your salutation will be respected sir dear sir dear ma'am there can be so many persons so many person associated with it respected write a letter to the editor of a newspaper regarding any problem regarding rise in price respected sir respected sir mujhe pata tha tum logo ne yahi option bolni hai whenever you are writing to higher authority like a teacher of a newspaper so dear sir dear sirs see dear sirs or 
Dear sirs, both options are. So, dear sirs, madam, are the most common forms. Okay. You are writing to the editor of a newspaper. So, when you are writing to the editor, it will be considered dear sir. Now, this respected sir, it is not used, it is obsolete. It is not in trend. राइट ऑप्शन कौन सी बच्ची क्यों मैंने बोला मैंने कब बोला है डियर मैंने तो बोला ही नहीं मैंने बोला इन फॉर्मल लेटर यू हैव टू शो रिस्पेक्ट यू हैव टू बी वेरी फॉर्मल यू हैव टू यूज गुड टोन बट यू कैन स्पीक डियर सर रिस्पेक्टेड सर इज ऑब्सोल्यूट ऑब्सोल्यूट देखा अब इनका दिमाग जाग गया आगे नहीं सुनते थे अगर रिस्पेक्टेड सर लिख के अपनी लेटर लिख देते थे अपनी मिलने ना वही तो कह रही हूँ पहले हम दे देते थे ना जब ऑप्शन ही हमारे पास फोन है अब कई लोग ऐसे लिखते थे एक मिनट डियर सर कुमा ये भी गलत है रिस्पेक्टेड अब अच्छा लगने लग जाएगा जब एमसी क्यू आएंगे ना सामने ना वेन यू आर गोइंग टू राइट डाउन द बॉडी ऑफ द लेटर ओके सो इन द बॉडी ऑफ द लेटर देर इज अक्चुअल मैसेज ओके सो वेन यू आर राइटिंग बॉडी ऑफ द लेटर यू शुड बी वेरी मच ब्रीफ You should be very much courteous. Very shakal man, dekho write down the words. Whenever you are writing a formal letter, writing you have to be very much brief. कहानी नहीं बतानी है. Suppose you want to avail school living certificate. Story नहीं बतानी है. To the point, you will request. You will give your introduction. You will request. to issue you school living certificate suppose you are writing to the editor you will not go in so many details you will request humbly kindly publish your views in newspaper okay so in this you have to be very much point very much courteous brief and to the point okay and your letter should be to the point clear otherwise you could be misunderstood okay why why you have to be to the point if you are writing business letter yes they are not free like our noor <laughs> so in formal letter you have to be very much courteous kavar noor has given a very good point that they are not free like him they are they have a short they have a way you can say so many things to do so when you are writing to formal higher institutions you have to write down to the point because they have no time to attend unnecessary unnecessary details okay and in business letter if you want to say thank so how would you say i shall be very thankful i shall be glad if you send me would you be kind enough may i draw your attention okay and in application when you are starting your application how you are going to write down i want to submit i want to say i have the honor to report i have the honor to bring to your kind notice reference to your advertisement publish in that tribune i am taking all examples of body of the letter so such kind of tone should be there clear now subscription what is subscription what is complimentary close
subscription or you can say in which so many student marks are deducted now it is up to you now you want to learn this concept or not okay so the most common form that we use is when you are writing to higher authority you write down yours suppose you are writing to the principal of your institution yours sincerely yours faithfully okay tumhe option batao principal yours obediently yours sincerely yours truly आ गया ये वाला एमसीक्यू प्रिंसिपल यू आर राइटिंग टू द प्रिंसिपल अच्छा अब दिव्यांशी ने बोला है योर दिव्यांशी क्यों बिकॉज वेन दिव्यांशी वॉज इन क्लास सेकेंड आई थिंक और इन क्लास थ्री दिस थिंग वॉज टॉट थर्ड में आई थिंक एप्लीकेशन गेट्स एप्लीकेशन का स्टार्ट कब होती है व्हेन डिड इट स्टार्ट सो इन थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवंथ एट फॉर लास्ट सिक्स इयर्स शी वाज राइटिंग ओबीडिएंटली अब वो नाइन्थ में होगी वो कहती है मैंने ओबीडिएंटली ही लिखना है चाहे मैं टेंथ में हो जाऊं चाहे प्लस में मैंने तो थर्ड में जो सीखा है वो मैम बिल्कुल ठीक थे बाकी सारे गलत है जैसे जैसे चेंज एज बढ़ रही है ट्रेंड्स आ रहे हैं सो मेनी चेंजेस आर कमिंग अच्छा अब दिव्यांशी के बाद हम आते हैं लक्ष्य पे लक्ष्य कहता है मैं हो गया हूँ नाइन्थ क्लास में अब मैं कहता हूँ कि ओबीडियंटली हो गया है ऑब्सोलीट सीख लिया हमने जूनियर क्लासेस में अब वो कहता है कि न्यू ट्रेंड आया है फेथफुली अब वंशिका जाग गई है वो कहती है कि नहीं स्टाइल थोड़ा ज्यादा डिफरेंट रखते हैं योर ट्रूली कवर दूर में जोश आ गया वो कह रहा है योर सिंसियरली अब देखो तुम लोगों के जोश और तुम लोगों के गैसेस काम नहीं आने नाउ लिसन अबाउट लॉजिक्स अब उठ जाओ नाउ गेट अप अब मेरी बात सुन लो एक्सप्लेनेशन जो तुम लोग नहीं सुनते थे अब नित्या की एक्सप्लेनेशन सुनो नित्या कह रहा है जब टीचर को लिखना है तो अभी भी एंट्री हम उनकी रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं एक मिनट नित्या की एक्सप्लेनेशन सुनो नित्या कह रहा हूँ टीचर को जब लिखेंगे तो ऑबिडियंटली लिखेंगे हम टीचर की रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं प्रिंसिपल मैम को लिखोगे तो उनकी हम बहुत ज्यादा रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं सो दीज आर द लॉजिक्स दीज आर द लॉजिक्स दे पीपल आर हैविंग आई एम जस्ट रियली वॉन्ट टू लाफ टू इन माई क्लास वो कहता है टीचर्स की रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं तो ऑबिडियंटली प्रिंसिपल मैम की बहुत ज्यादा रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं तो सी द लॉजिक्स सी द लॉजिक दे आर है नाउ लिसन टू योर पोअर टीचर बिकॉज यू पीपल आर एक्सपर्ट इन इंग्लिश आई एम नॉट एक्सपर्ट लाइक यू आई एम वेरी यू कैन सी हैविंग अ वेरी सिंपल नॉलेज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू योर ऑबिडियंटली इट इज नॉट रॉन्ग सी इट इज राइट बट बट earlier it was in trend when students of class 3 4 5th when you were in that class we used to teach you this thing that was absolutely correct whatever your junior teacher has taught you but now with the passage of time this trend has become obsolete even your parents if they are writing to principal if you are writing to principal ma'am you are not supposed to write an opinion so this trend is obsolete now it is not in trend after that faithfully faithfully is also not used so now sincerely and truly both are used both are appropriate explanation sun lo meri ye aise as it is mcq nahi aa jana it will be changed lekin explanation suni hai to shayad meri yaad aayegi mcq karte hue ab tum log teachers ko miss karoge जब एम सी क्यू करोगे ना टीचर की पिक आएगी तुम लोगों के सामने 
अब फ्लैश बैक में जाओगे पहले नहीं जाते थे पहले पेन ऐसे चलता था जो माइंड में आया लिख दो ट्रूली भी ठीक है सिंसियरली भी ठीक है लेकिन मोर मोर अप्रोप्रिएट सो योर सिंसियरली फर्स्ट नंबर पे है ट्रूली सेकेंड सो नाउ वट इज इन ट्रेंड योर सिंसियरली वेदर यू आर डूइंग बिजनेस लेटर अब ये अगली लैंग्वेज सुन लो मेरी वेदर यू आर राइटिंग टू प्रिंसिपल मैम टू हायर इंस्टीट्यूशन हायर अथॉरिटीज बिजनेस लेटर यू आर डूइंग लेटर फॉर प्लेसिंग एन ऑर्डर इन एनी काइंड ऑफ लेटर इट इज इन ट्रेंड यू आर सपोज टू राइट डाउन योर सिंसियरली क्लियर There are so many example I have given you. I shall be thankful if you kindly. I shall be glad if you send me. Would you be kind enough to send me? I will be highly obliged. I will be highly obliged. Yes. So, बच्चे, this is all about now. What will you do? You will not sit idle. You will go through all the details of all writing skill. Okay, whether it is story writing, formal letter writing, informal letter writing, email writing, whatever the writing skills are there, you have to go in detail about the format. Clear? So do practice of these writing skills also, and be prepared for your revision test. Second link will be shared to you at two o'clock, and don't be over smart because. you think that whatever we will attempt suppose we have get 14 and after that you attempt from another mobile and you get 16 i tell you you take screenshot of 16 and you send to me i want to tell you there is no need to send me screenshot today i will have a record because you people are smart we are over oh, smart whatever the response you give whatever the email id you use all the records are with us the person who creates google form i want to enhance your knowledge i have suppose i have created google form so the response you are doing at what time do you are doing from which email id you are doing from which laptop or from which mobile you are doing how many times you do each and everything is sent to me automatically and after getting all the response i will click only on one option the he will ask computer will ask you want to have spreadsheet in excel form i will click on that spreadsheet and this spreadsheet will come in front of me all the details will be in front of me okay so there is no need to send me screenshot i will have a screenshot i will have a excel sheet i will put a command there all response of 9th a will be in I will be in front of me along with that time also at which which time you have started at which time you have ended sab kuch mere paas aa jayega you can ask any of the teacher that to, to whom to whom you know personally so don't be over smart don't give your two two response and choose best one and send screenshot there is no need to send screenshot. i will have record of that clear everything writing skills also moments chapter also excuse me ma'am yes dhiren uh ma'am which type of mcqs will be asked from paragraph writing okay i just ask you from paragraph i just saying one mcq suppose in descriptive paragraph suppose any descriptive paragraph is there what should be the arrangement of ideas what points you should keep in your mind in descriptive paragraph information should be factual information should be descriptive information should be based on your eye witness information should be based on your stats or information should be based on uh, in the narrative form Now tell me right answer. 
information should be descriptive because i'm descriptive because in descriptive paragraph you are going to describe any place any person anything clear Now okay ma'am thank you ma'am okay bachche